all these years I used to sit right here. It's like six years. Something like that. It's close to six. I know it is. Just sit right here and pop a string or throw something, you know, throw a, throw a knife, throw a hatchet, whatever it is. And I don't know if this will be my very last one out here in this exact spot video, right? Dude, you're about to experience a whole other level of craziness. 50 cows and all kinds of cool stuff. Pretty soon. But this, this all gets tore down. Every bit of this craziness. I'm gonna, I gotta tear it all down. I gotta clean all this mess up before we get out of here. But <laughs> before I go, I just wanna play around. This is me playing around today. And how does that connect? <laughs> This is my little takedown at Lettle. I like this thing. I've shared that with you guys before. I just like playing around with at Lettle. You gotta get good with these things. The very first lethal weapon, one of the deadliest weapons, it's a man in his at Lettle. Or a woman. <laughs> I can't be like that, right? <laughs> it's like, hey, BA, come on now. I don't know, my wife's pretty good with, she picks stuff up pretty quick. She can pick up any kind of weapon. So something like that. Just like that guy right there. It's pretty cool. And uh, let's give it a whirl. We'll see if I can't whack that thing out. It's not an easy skill to pick up. <laughs> but a little bit of practice. I do... I do throw the same way. I might have to bring the camera further, further back, but I throw the same way and I pull. You basically, you put your hands here and you pull. So it's like pull, but you gotta use your finger also to hold the <laughs> the dart anyway. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna keep throwing. something that something I always go back to I, I keep I keep thinking about is what makes us human right the human aspect of things and you know folks out there who are into prepping and survivalist stuff and you know they want to get edumacated and get learnt something <laughs> he said this old man he's uh he's tell me uh let me learn you something, boy. You know, he's a cool dude. I mean, he tinkers with everything. We had a lot in common because he liked to build stuff. You know, he'd pull out the welders and get to putting together go-karts. And we'd put a 10-speed bicycle wheel on the back and hook up a Briggs and Stratton to it and fire it up and, and make it go really freaking fast. Uh, <laughs> we made water toys, you know. Uh, uh, like six tracks, you know, six track type tires and craziness. So we just mess around with hydraulics and stuff, and and uh, it was just a lot of fun. We had a lot in common, and and I I get to thinking. Remember when it was simple? Remember when things were simple? We didn't have to label everything. Everything's so labeled now. You have to you have to call it something. It has to be a tactical assault something, you know, for it to be. A part of your life nowadays you can't it's it's like um it's like the groups and stuff man it cracks me up that you know it uh you 
you bring together a bunch of people and if not all of them have anything to do with it's just it becomes work right some of this stuff becomes work it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's it's fun if it if it becomes work then it's it's not fun so you got to look at these things it's it's like folks that sippy and i relate to and we we don't analyze it too much it's just it's just kind of common sense and it just always it's always funny how it works out it's like folks that have kids folks that have kids that hang out with us right it always seems to it blends right it's like oh you guys have got kids and you can see what they're going through and we've got kids and they can see what we're going through it's the same thing you can relate you know all these folks that have kids and then and it instantly becomes uh a mutual helpful type thing it that's always been the case with a lot of stuff and i think people look too far into things they just dissect it until there's nothing left of it and uh you know you lose a lot of friends you know looking into things like that getting too crazy with stuff um uh, man i've had I've had private investigators spy on me, pretend to be my friend, yeah. <laughs> just to get to know me better. <laughs> I tell you, I could tell you some stories, man. Some of you guys and gals that'll make your head spin. You'll go, what? And I, I know if if I if I was to just turn a camera on and just let loose, it, half half of y'all probably believe what I'm saying. Cause it's just too freaking crazy. You just have to be there. And it's one of those BA be there moments. Cause I've, I tell you, there's a lot of stuff that, that I've wished, <laughs> I wish some of y'all would have been there. Man, I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm seeing this right now. I know this is happening right now, but <laughs> you know, I just laugh about it. We kind of look back and go, wow, that was just some crazy moments. And but the people, like it's like the people we relate to. Everything kicks back with family. You ever, you ever notice that? It's some, some of y'all might have problems with your family. You might have family troubles and, and things. I can't vouch for everybody out there. I don't want to generalize. It's called generalizing, right? You know, I don't, I don't want to generalize you guys and your relationships with your family members, because things, things could be sour in your lives, and things might not be normal for you, and. I can't sit here and, and generalize all of you and, and say, well, you're all just like me, you know, and <laughs> not all of us are beautiful white little snowflakes floating about. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all of us are unique in our own little way, I guess. But what, what I, what I'd like to say that to that is, uh, it all comes back with family sometimes for us. You know, it doesn't matter how rough your family is, but you do know that your friends, the people you know and talk to every day, it's, there's, if a knee jerk reaction was to happen, I don't even have to say SHTF or any of that stuff. If a knee jerk reaction, you know, kind of like, you know, where the doctor hits your knee and your knee goes, eh, anyway. Sometimes I have to explain, you know, <laughs> what's an knee jerk reaction? Uh, you know, um, reflex kicks in and, you know, folks start calling you and it doesn't matter if you're on good terms or, or bad terms, right? It doesn't matter what those, you know, what those are and you kind of reach a common ground with stuff. Well, you know, let's put aside our differences and we really need to get through this because it's dangerous. This is dangerous times we're living in, and I think a lot of folks really need to look at the, look at the big picture. So I think there's just a lot of folks out there that get too wrapped up in social media, and and they they think that well, a lot of folks think that if like they have to they have to like the same type of cheese or the same type of this or the same type of that or and and all this type of stuff it it doesn't have to be so detailed and it just you need to reach a common ground with with something and to make it positive to feel good 
and you'll feel good. You'll feel good about people. And that's the feeling that you're looking for. That feel good feeling. You'll, you'll know when you have it. You're like, you know what? I'm cool. Whatever happens, happens. It's one of those things. You don't have that worry. You don't have that stress. You know, that's the type of stuff. Well, I don't, you know, I don't know Jack that well. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like you go to some of these things where it's like, you know, I wonder what Jack's like outside this place. I mean, Jack is cray cray, man. You know, you know what I mean? And, and then you, well, does Jack have kids? No, he doesn't have kids. I don't think he's allowed to be around him. <laughs> you know what I mean? All kinds of stuff. Uh, you don't want that drama. You know, you just common ground with folks. And most of the, I mean, most of the people that, that, uh, uh, the wife and I hang around with or, or people in the same line of work as her, you know, that type of thing that, uh, people that were in the same line of work as me. And we're all the ones that, that, that truly just, uh, we get it. We ain't got nothing to prove. It's you'll know. I mean, you'll know you ain't got nothing to prove. There's, there's no reason to show out and act silly. And everybody's just kind of like, dang, man, I'm tired, you know, whatever. And it's like, Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry too. <laughs> That's the kind of relationships you need. And those and and those will get you through. Those will get you through just fine. You, we, I mean, we hype stuff up and we got to give them these crazy titles and make things so awesome that it's just not fun anymore. And that's what you really need to be focused on is, make it fun. You know, all this stuff should be fun. It, it's, it's like the other night during a live stream. I'm like, I'm sitting there telling dad jokes. That's what I do around the house. I like telling dad jokes, I like reading dad jokes and goofing off. It's a lot of stuff. I do a lot of goofing off. I'm, I'm that guy that takes that strange right turn down one of those roads and just goes mud. And a lot of folks don't see me like that. They see me as I'm, I've got to be serious all the time. <laughs> I'm not always serious. I'm, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to smile. And that's what I want a lot of folks out there to take from what I do is I want you to put a smile on your face and have fun. It's, it's not supposed to be intense all the time. You know, you can be a prepper and still have a life. So you don't have to be so intense. I guess that's what I got to say, but it's, we're about to shift gears and the gears that Sippy and I are about to shift are going to be really hard. And, um, it's all about timing and, and placement and everything. And, uh, <laughs> I'm ready for some change. It's going to be nice, you know, goes back to, you know, thinking of, well, it, the people who look down on you, like, well, the position that I'm in, you know, look at me, I'm this, this, and this. It's, you know, you, you really got to look at it as you do these things in stages and it takes a long time to get there, you know, and I was talking to a friend yesterday about, he's got a, uh, he's got to put his life on hold to do things for the military and and it's it's hard it's i i just man i it's gonna be rough and it's gonna be a really long road and and i get to thinking about that too i, I say you know i'm just i'm just glad i get to be with my kids now and i get to live my life and i get to have fun drama free if i choose to and you have a choice you can live your life drama free i like to say that to a lot of y'all out there because some people just put up with crap that they don't need to put up with. I mean, it's just a bag of bricks. You just put it down. Move on with your life. You know, if it's a bunch of drama, get on with it. You know what I mean? Get on with it. Just get your life going and, and drop that crap. If it's something like that that's really hard, hard, hardening you down and holding you down, you need to move on. You don't need to sit there and, and let people, you know, um, don't let people... You're not, <clears throat> it's like me being on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like me being on here. I, I'm not no emotional punching bag for anyone. I never, I, I've never have I been a, a loud, allowed that. I, you know, that's the other thing. I don't choose to be, 
I don't choose to lead or follow. <laughs> I'm a human being. <laughs> I got my own life. I need to protect it. I got a family I need to protect. I'm done being a child and playing childish games. I'm not silly. That's not what we do. <laughs> uh, real men wash dishes. I'll tell you that right now. Real men cook dinner for their wives. You can do it. It's okay. You know, the wife ain't always going to be there. The real men can fold clothes. It happens. You know, I could go on about a whole list of things that real men can do. It's okay. Real men change oil in the car. You know, they change tires. <laughs> so many people go on about the real men thing. I'll tell you right now, you know, uh, <laughs> it, people live in a fantasy world. I'll tell you, they really do. All right. I think I got that off my chest. I think I feel better about that. But you know, I got you know I got plenty more to say. But I guess that's it for now. <laughs> God bless y'all. Take care.